This house, a woman is inside. She's been there for so many years and not too many people know why she's in there. She doesn't move. She doesn't say anything. This house is located in a place called Ikorabase in Akwaibom State, Nigeria. And that region used to be the seat of government for the British colonial government when they were ruling Nigeria. In the year 1929, something very big happened in that area. And that will result to this woman sitting in this house until this day. You see, in the year 1929, a very big uprising took place in Nigeria. And this uprising will go down to history books as one of the biggest and first of its kind. In November 1929, thousands of women from Bende district in Umaya and many other places in the eastern region of Nigeria traveled to a town called Oloko and started protesting against the Waran chiefs. They accused the Waran chiefs of restricting the roles of women in the government and taxing market women. This is the base of their protest. But this protest will quickly turn riot when the British colonial government started cracking down the peaceful protest and this will result to what we know today as Nigerian Women War or Aba Women Riots. For the women, their goal is very simple. They want to end the system of Warren chiefs and replace them with clan head, which will be appointed by Nigerians only and not the British. But for the British colonial government, this sounded like a no-go area, so they decided to crack down on the protest. In total, over 10,000 women took place in this protest and there is over 55 casualties. During the protest, many Warren chiefs were forced to resign and over 16 native courts were attacked and most of them were destroyed. But in the year 1930, just few months into the protest, the women will see the result. The British colonial government abolished the system of Warren chiefs and women were appointed into the native courts. So next time when you talk about women's rights, remember Nigeria as one of the first places in Africa where women revolted and fought for their rights and they got the reward. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting next to a woman like Stato. This woman right here, it looks real. I mean, if you come here at night, you might run away. But this is a symbol to show the women that lost their life in the Nigerian Women War, or you can say the Aba Women Riot. And what you're seeing at the top there is the names of the women that lost their life. You remember when I told you about a bank where manager has been trapped inside for more than 93 years? This is some of the money that were used in that bank, right? This, this is uh, a hand of a pot. In Igbo language, they call this akite. But this is actually money. In those days, this what, just like your notes, what today, this is basically what they were using, including cowries. These days, people just put cowries on their hair and their chain. <laughs> but all those things are money, including this. This is actually very expensive in the past, but today you can only find it in the museum, like this. So we are in the Women War Memorial, where you have a memorial remembering the women that lost their life in the Nigerian Women War, or you can see the Aba Women Riot. Not many people talk about it, but it's happened, and we should learn about it.